you're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Okay, strength requirement You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. For medicine stick. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fucked character. Oh my god, this is horrible. Sorry, son. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. I guess I missed a spot. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big one or drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right, I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. Silencer. Bandit. Stab! Light. Torch. Mother. You <laughs> shoot good 
God, no. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh-huh. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly agree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. A broken chain. Okay. How about this one? A ship at sea. Last one. Mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Repair. Butter. Let's see here. Just regular guns. Survival. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Wild wasteland of fucking course. And skilled. As I need every point I can get. And we're also going to use the bug to get skilled three times. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay, so the story behind Simple Jack. My character is the same character I was at the end of Fallout 3. However, I've taken some atrophy damage as well as some severe damage due to the gunshot to the face. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thank you for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yes, hardcore mode. Because I've played New Vegas before, but I've never went with survival and I've never went low intelligence. So we're going to play a dummy.
starter. Let's go ahead and get the second skilled part. As you can see here, that if I want to get this, my survival should hit 50. Three eight nine one one nine nine. Rebuild character. Yes. Intelligence, charisma. Guns and repair. Wild wasteland and skilled. Yep, survival 50, it still works. Here, I'm definitely going to be taking Cowboy.
Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I am quit getting in front of me. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me.
Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Awesome. People like me. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Howdy.
You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Huh. What's weapon mods and why is the ammo special? Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Why is surplus ammo not good? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Mm. What you got Can do. Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. Take it easy now.
Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Fly slider. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. <laughs> Pretty sure that's an Indiana Jones reference. That hat's pretty iconic. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. I'm not there taking sides. Okay, nope. Okay, I can't do it without hitting the group. Good enough. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're It's normally done. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Is that a 357 in a shot glass? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? Goodbye, weirdo. Yeah. I can't believe I have never noticed Trudy keeps 
a 357 in a drinking glass. Oh my god. Did any of you all ever miss that? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. That guy looked mad. Something going on? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. That Cobb wasn't able to find Ringo. The town's not that big. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Hmm. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are y'all gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. And to answer you, uh, sorry, I was giving that a second so I could edit that out uh, when I go to make a video later. Uh, but to answer the question, no on both counts. I've never given a wedgie or have I ever received one. Random question, but... Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's see, I want to talk about something else. Alright. What happens if I were to help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So if I help Ringo and Good Spring will like me more, what would happen if I were to help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Okay. What do you have for sale? Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Wow, that is a good discount. G30. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. Be careful out there. Well, yeah, I've played through New Vegas before, but I've never done a low intelligence build, and I don't think I've ever done it on survival. So that's what this playthrough is, a low intelligence survival playthrough. And I'm logicing that this character is my character from Fallout 3 after they got shot in the head. So eventually they'll recover, but it's going to take them a long time. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Whoa, I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. 
What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, what are the rules of caravan? Like for real, I've never been any good at this. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? No. All right. No, there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Well, what are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I can help. I'm hired gun, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Alright. We'll have to do what now? We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. I'm a long way off from a, from even getting close to it, but my end goal is to play through every video game ever made with a log of the whole progress process. I'm just now on my fifth game that I've actually streamed, so <laughs> it'll take a while. and see if anything's lootable. I know I need at least 15 explosives. Oh. I can go ahead and get beat. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I want a neat... I'm... Let's restart that. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to need to... Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm just... Since I'm playing a low intelligence, I'm going to just talk like an idiot on the next one. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Ringo need help with powder gangers. You assist? Say no more. I'm in. Okay. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'll be waiting. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? 
boom tubes. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I know how to use boom tube. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. what I can get to work with. Okay, I got 11 skill points to work with. That's better than I thought. I thought I was going to have to work with 8. Makes all of your weapons reload 25% faster. Addiction resistance. Bonus from snack foods. Okay. That one has my attention. Old World Gourmet. I want that a rapid reload. Snack foods. Eh, uh, rapid reload.
going on there? I didn't realize you could do that. Did what? Did... You can shoot the frickin' egg sacks. And they can come out of it. Are you kidding me? How did I not know this? What an idiot. I can't believe I didn't know that one. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? The town's gonna be attacked by bandits. Anything you could do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Programmer's Digest, where you at? Hey there. You looking to buy some supplies? 
I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Alright, 25. Sure, let them take over town. I'm sure they'll let you do business. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. What do you got for sale? Can do. Beer will give me plus two three, so that should be enough. A trees thing. Pounds of nine mil ammo, shit. Normally, I wouldn't dare sell that, but I can't aim that thing worth nothing, and I'm going with an all-on-my-back character. I can work with. Give me a shout if you need. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. 
Oh, sneak, I don't even have to drink. Okay, good. Near the saloon and the stores are good spots to stage an ambush, if I had the help. That does sound like a good plan. Alright, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Make sure I don't lose anybody in the town. Ready for this? So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? She's with us, so it's the whole town. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. <sighs> oh, Easy Peak came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. That range is horrible. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Yeah, I'm running heavy.
Oh, there you are. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Can do. that Thanks Four hour wait. This really punishes you for having for using the weight function.
You looking to buy some supplies? Nevada Garth eight seems to be the way to go on that. Pleasure doing business with you. Good to go. Take it easy now. Hello? It really just let me waste them. The thing I'd saved. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Thank you. Until next time. Hello. Evening.
Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thank you for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How do you happen to know how to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. You know who does men attacking me where? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Goodbye. Happy trails! I needed to check his inventory for something else before I leave. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? Yep. Can do. the main road. Okay, stretch my thumb. I like some music to go with the gameplay, but I don't want to get caught in the road, so I'm just going to play some of New Vegas' music through an earbud in my ear.
doing that again. Six pounds of nine millimeter ammo. Hey there.
Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Thanks for the warning. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Damn. Who exactly are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express, actually. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? You go do this. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. <clears throat> that job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. <sighs> Well, that's where you came in. You canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. You know who he was? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. 
Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Uh, not for me to say. Mental package. Something chicken suit. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. They shot me. Where at? Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Doctor? Sure, have a look. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, bye. The, the blue? Ooh,
this party. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Party. Sure, have a look. Get slug. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Good you. See ya. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Beagle. You're not a dog. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Information on checker suit. Aw, hit the button too fast.
Yeah. Uh, the people I had working on it uh, just finished up uh, most of it. They're working on changing where I had to do that little wide out section. They had their uh, multilingual show through a little bit. But yeah, I just gave them a color scheme and I said, see what you can do with that. <laughs> they managed to pull that out of that hectic mess. I'm playing a low intelligence uh, build for Fallout New Vegas. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Beagle. You're not a dog. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. You see checkered suit? Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Sure, run away. Be bad for Doggy to get hurt. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Uh, no. <laughs> Charisma and intelligence of one. <laughs> yeah, my main skills are just going to be uh, guns, repair, barter, and survival. There's going to be a few that are good that I've heard about that I want to see for myself to see if they were standard or modded. See how fast that reloads? I've already taken the, the faster hands reload perk. Isn't what we'll we taking cowboy? I'm starting to run into issues of being overloaded way too quickly. Anybody there? I've, uh, after all the effort that went into Three's perfect build, I've decided to say screw that and just treat this character like Three's character, but they've been shot in the head, so, you know, they're, they're down on their luck, you know, they're crippled a bit. 
You know, I scrambled their thinking bait. The further add complexity for this character, they're not allowed to have a player home. Oh no, I've went overboard on mods before. I made Skyrim look truly next gen. I turned it like 200 and something, 200, 250 gig. I'm not quite sure how high I pushed it. Yeah, good point. No, I will say, like, uh, when it comes to using the gun you want, like, I love the alien blaster, like Firelands, because I, I ran Firelands through the last part of my, uh, Fallout 3. Like, if you wanted to run that as your main weapon, you'd have to use console commands to get more ammo and repair the damn thing. I mean, it's just, it's not feasible. One more time. Yeah. Let's just take the stupid approach and just smack the keys around. No! No! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> this went doom! Uh, like third attempt and I decided I'm going to stick with my character since I've got one intelligence and like no science hardly at all. I'm just going to go <laughs> So I just smacked my uh, keys down to the bottom and uh, just unlocked it. <laughs> oh that's hilarious. Like, yeah, that really just happened. 
Hey there. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Are you? Sure, have a look. Thanks. Good to go. Bye. Doggy! Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? You could shoot down. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Thanks, Doggy. If you can't figure out why I'm calling him Doggy, it's because the name's, uh, you know, Deputy Beagle. Howdy. Beagle's a dog. That's just some ungodly. I couldn't imagine that fast. Trying to do that real life under pressure? Uh uh.
Hello. Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Goodbye. Sir. Did that not... Ah, I'll work on that quest later. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, see, because I'm logicking that this character, you know, as I'm new building this like how I will when I do two hell of two wastelands, that my courier character is my Fallout 3 character that, they, you know, they've just basically been lobotomized by 9 mil to the you know, frontal lobe. Over time, it'll recover, but until then, it's, you know, they're pretty heavily crippled. That should be making its mark. No, that was low. Oh, it's doing the crosshair thing. Let's see here. Guns, get it going up first. Light touch. Yep, that's gonna be the first step in this psychotic build. Actually, no, cannibal. Cannibal. It's survival.
Characters existing for the base of their story. That's usually though how it goes with fan fiction. They're either really good or really bleh. Please be faster. Thank you, Nine Agility. I'm faster than them. No, don't kill the merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Yes. Sure. Here's what I got. A Katana Authentic Blade. We're just gonna go ahead and snag that, I think. I don't know. Plasma Defender. My character wouldn't know how to use that! Have any 38 special? You do. Binoculars, a broad machete. Let's go ahead and sell this thing. It's not doing me any good. Why was I even carrying flamer fuel? That's just consuming weight in my inventory. I don't have a 10 millimeter, so let's go ahead and sell that.
Alrighty. Thanks for uh, taking the time there. But yeah, glad you liked the background. Whoa. Yeah, it's 3.40 a.m. my time. But I'm also off for two days. Uh, there's a ho it's one of them's a holiday thing, and the other's I took a day of PTO. I have in my inventory. Oh, bunch of food. Yeah, everybody needs a break and time off. Jackson. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Any way I can help? No, wait, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. So. How am I going to work the... Anything ice can hit? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Mm. Be back. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with.
Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. What's about the goods? No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not going to come check. So here you go. Just between us. Mm, rifle. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Mailman! Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. There's... All right, then. Just sign here, here, and here. Goodbye. Sir. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Mm, Barker. Take a look.
You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Door. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Okay. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Okay. Mind yourself on the plank going down. Hello?
Remember kids, reload your rifles. me. Thanks for the help. That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Any idea why? No, none at all. 
We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago, and she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Okay, keep your things to yourself. No time for strangers, huh? I should probably follow your example. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road, believe me. Powderganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder Gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> what sort of lottery? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> mm. Bye. Whoa, whoa, careful! Mm. Ah! Too cheerful. Die! Doggy people! Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Mm, you're a crime, sir. But unfortunately, I'm not strong enough. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. Tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Hey there. Need anything? Uh -huh. Sure. Here's what I got.
patrolling. Heard you helped out Jackson. Thanks for that. Caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out, but at least there's movement. Legion's attack nipped and burned and killed everybody. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thanks for bringing the word. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. The Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Hello? You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Nipton was attacked by the Legion. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Mm, did you have friends there? In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. Bad news bears. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count. Background? Barter. Take a look. Good boy. Fine then. Down on that.
What I'm about to do was horrible.
Hey there. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah. Sure. Here's what I got. Kind of campfire. Oh, I see where the ambush party is going to come in from. I think. Oh, you all are fucked this time. I think they're all fucked carrying autos. You know, 10 mil pistol and laser pistol. Yeah, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil pistol, laser pistol. I think metal armor may survive. First time I think I've ever seen them loot. Hey there, need anything? Listen.
common steak. Island nuts. I hear combat. Gotta get some move on. Um.
Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. <laughs> I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. So what exactly is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. So, where do all the of interest? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Mm, supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Bye. Watch out for strangers. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Jenny May sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Okay. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. What about supplies like guns, food, and bullets? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Tell me more about the souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. <laughs> the papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How did they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Let me see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look.
Come back soon now. What's going on, man? I'm looking for a checkered coat, dude. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Okay. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Okay, you want me to kill them all? Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. One crash. Thanks for that. Just had an auto save.
Howdy. Hello again. This quest is really worth noting. Hello. Yeah. Prim needs some real dog here. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Sir? Still neutral. Damn sure ain't passing no charisma check. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. I'd like to talk to you about. Prim. Hayes units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Hayes is undermanned. You need some more people. I'd like to help. But we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Having Prim and its trade stuff would help you in the West. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Okay, goodbye. Sir. Yeah. I got you more manpower. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. 
This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Yes. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Light armor, you gain plus five percent.
listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Mm. Okay. Stop wasting time. Welcome back. Can I get... Sure thing. Have a look.
last chance. Hey, thanks again for all your help. You looking to buy some supplies? Pleasure doing business with you.
club. Skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Okay, whatever. Stay away from me. Playing for Tim. Zipping. Hello. Are you already going feral? Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? What great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Tell me more about the demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Is it worth it? 
demons breathed at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then? Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I'll take care of them. Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Hello. First, I must loot or sell what I looted from your brethren. there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. For sale. Happy to do it. I got miscellaneous stuff in my inventory.
So, you're back. AP ammo is much more effective against Nightcat.
Antler. Antler says you are the one killing my kin. Antler says you must die. <laughs> First for friends who do stuff together, you is for you and me. For any time, any time at all, here in the deep blue sea. Stop messing. Stop. Arrgh! Morning. Is the way clear? Yes, the demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Okay, that's two crashes. Thankfully, it auto saves every time it does anything. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I will say, even though this game is very nostalgic, I've crashed either, I think, 
two or three times now, and it's not even five hours into the stream. We'll just hit five hours. Screen. One was just a second ago with a uh, bright guy talking. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Thank you, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Hey. Morning. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of Isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Bye. Hey. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? I'm looking for rocket parts. Something about a remote controller or module. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. 500 caps it is. Pleasure doing business with you. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? For sale. Happy to do it. Another satisfied customer. Take care now.
Scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rads. I hereby christen myself Mr. Rad. Hey, cool. Get it? <laughs> oh my god. I get it. Have you found the components we discussed? I found an entire container of the ancient. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. I got those already. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality.
bunch of numbers and words on the screen, but none of it really means anything to you. Mash on the case! Science! Okay, I'm going to end the stream, and hopefully it comes up, and I'll just start playing again tomorrow. If not, I don't think I've ever had experience a crash like this.